Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today we'll be changing out the serpentine belt on this 04 Mach 1. And it's pretty much the same process for a GT. All you're going to need is a ratchet with a extension. Make sure this is not a wobble because this it may break in there and you do not want that. And to do this, you want to make sure that you pay attention to a couple of things. First thing you're going to have to do is locate your belt tensioner here. And this is the belt tensioner. And right where that is right there, that's where your ratchet and the extension are going to go in. And you're going to push it towards the driver's side. And it's going to relieve the strain on the belt. It's going to allow us to loosen up the belt here. And I'll try to leave a diagram for you guys of this towards the end. And let's go ahead and get this done. So to get this started, you want to make sure you enter from this side right here on this Mach 1. Normally there's a hood scoop. I've removed it so I have a little bit easier access. And you do not want to start from this area. So right over here, we're going to push towards the driver's side. And once we push, we're going to be removing the belt up here towards the alternator. And you want to make sure this is nice and tight in there. And all right, there it goes. The belt is off. And you can just leave that in there or you can remove it. And once you got the belt almost removed, you're going to get stuck right in this corner right here where the tensioner is not going to allow the belt to come out. So you're going to have to push a little tiny bit. And once that's done, you're going to go be able to remove the belt now. All right. Now you got your belt completely removed. And it's not a bad idea to replace the tensioner on, on the, your vehicle. My tensioner is actually good. It doesn't wobble when it's running. And you want to check the bearing on here to see if there's any play. To see if you can hear anything as well. And it's a good time to check the alternator or any of the pulleys you want to inspect. So go ahead and do that now. And what you're looking for is just play. When you grab this, you shouldn't be able to pull the shaft out or hear any kind of clunking. And you could also inspect the water pump. And you can actually tell on mine, there's a little bit of a wobble. So this is something to keep an eye out for. And if you have a mirror, you can put it underneath to see if it's leaking as well. All right, so we got our motor all nice and shiny, all degreased, and I'm going to go ahead and slap this belt on. I just wanted to point out, they actually make special tools you can buy specifically for this, and sometimes you actually need these, especially if you got a really slim fit application where you're against a firewall or a sidewall, but in this case, we're going to be okay with just using the ratchet, and let's get this belt on. Alright, so we got our belt pretty much in place before we put the ratchet on and pull this towards the driver's side so we can go ahead and put the belt into place. So the belt, you originally want to line it up where the alternator is. Work your way down here, down and around, and I'll have a diagram on the screen for you guys right now. And the most important part of this is make sure that you leave the slack at the top by the alternator and this is going to allow you the room that you need to go ahead and slide the belt into place. So I got my ratchet here, ratchet is in, and let me go ahead and get this final now. Alright, I'm going to push down, get my tensioner to relieve some pressure here. And you want to bring the alternator belt up. Alright, there we go. And one thing you want to check on this. Before you go try to start the car, you want to make sure everything is seated in the right groove. On the water pump, the power steering, the AC, on the on, on the idlers, check everything. Go around to make sure everything is seated. And let me give this another quick check and I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Alright, if you have a helper, get them to go ahead and crank the motor and keep an eye on the front. <laughs>
All right, guys. I really hope this video helped you guys out. Please leave your comments and your questions below. And if this is the first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing for more money and time-saving videos just like this. Have a great day. And here's the diagram right here. You can see that this is the alternator, and that's going to be the idler pulley, and this right here is going to be our tensioner. So if you need to learn how to put it together, you can use this right here for the GT and Mach 1. And here's some other variations in that same style of years. You got the V6 up top right here, and the force uh, leader, and so on. So if you need to reference this, go ahead and pause the video. Let me know if you guys have any comments. Hit the subscribe button, and I really appreciate your continued support.